Vasily Lomachenko says Alexander Usyk would absolutely school Deontay Wilder if they fought at heavyweight. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing if you want to become part of the gang gang. Notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We work and also sign up for ESPN+. Plus. Shakur Stevenson got an upcoming fight, UFC. Tons of great content. I am an affiliate working with ESPN and Disney, so it does help the channel. Appreciate you guys for using my link. Nate Diaz, Jorge Masvidal, probably the fight I'm looking for to most, and that's the ESPN pay-per-view. Sign up below using my link. Thank you. Now, ES News has an interview. They're doing the WBC convention where, you know, they, they come up with the WBC news and order some fights and mandatories and stuff like that. So you see all the former or, you know, current WBC champions and stuff attend. It's in Cancun, Mexico. Usyk's there. Badu Jack's there. And, you know, some reporters are there. Lomachenko's obviously there. And ES News did a brief interview and... They're spitballing some different questions to Lomachenko as far as fight predictions. And the one you see in the title of the video is um, Usyk. He's, the question was, hey, what happens if Usyk were to step up and fight Deontay Wilder? And then Lomachenko looks at the camera and says, oh, he will school Deontay Wilder. You know, he'll school him. Usyk will school him. And then, um, you know, they tried to get a reaction out of Usyk. He was like playing games or joking and stuff listen the ukraine trio between vodstick usik and lomachenko has just taken a hit vodstick you know game effort he tried versus better be but better be was just you know the terminator or something you just wouldn't stop relentless pressure crazy you know very underrated body attack and i love to see that from a fighter out of russia because sometimes again based on the region you're from there's certain training we know fighters you know stereotypically from america or mexico you know the the upper echelon fighters they have a good body attacks inside game that's that's taught commonly taught in those areas but sometimes the eastern european russian you know that region they don't concentrate on the body attack so props to Arthur better be because I think that was a huge difference maker. So one of the the UK Ukraine Olympic trio has already got knocked off, no longer undefeated, and it was a great fight, sleeper fight. You know, did 600 and 500, six 655k views or something like that. So um, decent numbers on ESPN. And I'm not gonna make this video too long. Lomachenko is saying Usyk will school Deontay Wilder if Wilder gets past Luis Ortiz. Let's bump the Tyson Fury fight. He's already in, you know, WrestleMania, Royal Rumble, whatever he's doing, fighting Bret Hart or whoever. So let's see Usyk fight Deontay Wilder. New media is here. It's a new dawn. It's a new day. It's a new era. And you know, we kind of control the narrative. Not kind of. We do control the narrative. So it's nothing to even talk about. Let's see Usyk school Deontay Wilder because as far as I'm concerned the Chaz Witherspoon fight he didn't even I know it was his first fight but based on the expectations and you know people thought Usyk was going to make this huge splash and they said he could dominate the division I think Usyk's performance left people with a lot to desire like literally days before the fight he was not even supposed to fight this guy so he fought a guy with the four or five day turn around to to prepare for a fight a guy who every time in his prime he stepped up and fought a name he lost chris Ariola. he was losing then ended in dq but he was losing the fight tony thompson he got stopped etc so every time he stepped up in his prime he lost seth mitchell stopped him third round or something like that and then we know he wasn't his prime he's 38 years old he fought one time in march against the low level op and Usyk didn't even look sensational versus him so he would have to show me the schooling of Deontay Wilder Wilder hits like a ton of bricks Thanos civil rights movement power I mean the dude is strong he's just like country strong corn fed and stuff like that so to to be honest old media is losing you guys know it 
um, the radical statements, you know, Canelo can destroy better Biv and Usyk will school up Deontay Wilder. Sounds good, but the fans want to see it. So let's see if Eddie Hearn puts Usyk in a position where he fights Wilder next. I can bet big top dollar that that's not going to happen. And just watch. So every time I keep calling these out, they're going to either prove me wrong or they're going to prove me right. And we'll see how many of these I can get right. So based on the Chaz Witherspoon performance, and he did what he had to do. He got the job done, but it didn't leave, like, it didn't really put the division on notice. I don't think Daniel Dubois or F.A. Ajaba, Wilder, Andy Ruiz, I don't think any of these guys were, like, trembling and shaking in their boots after that performance. Usyk has a style that's going to be hard to sell at heavyweight, not like Evander Holyfield. Evander Holyfield can chunk him, had power. You know, he had power. He stopped Mike Tyson. You know what I'm saying? So he had power to hurt guys, get respect, had a hell of a chin, right? These types of things. We don't really know too much about Usyk's chin, especially at heavyweight because he's only had one fight. And as far as his power, you know, it didn't really look anything sensational. And to me, I noticed with the added weight, Usyk didn't look fluid. He didn't look as quick as he did at Cruiserweight. Cruiserweight's kind of a dormant division. You know, we we occasionally see a David Hay or a Vander Holyfield or somebody come up out of the cruiserweight division, but it's never really been the pop in this division where you have like how heavyweight has rivals like Lennox Lewis, Mike Tyson, Mike Tyson, Holyfield, Holyfield, and um, you know whoever George Foreman or they just had way more players it's always been that way for heavyweight you had actual rival you know like lennox could fight david tua or tommy morrison there were some real guys you know fights with like ray mercer razor ruddick these types of guys there was real players in that division cruiserweight might have a star come from that but usually guys don't stay at cruiserweight because the money's at heavyweight you know what i'm saying and there's only a certain amount of guys and that's kind of what happened with Usyk so really there's nothing to talk about if Lomachenko feels that way and Usyk feels that way let's see if Eddie Hearn feels that way because oftentimes old media what they do is they talk and they talk with this like um vigor and um you know attitude pompous you know almost like cocky attitude but then the moves that are made completely shit on the idea that Wilder is an easy fight Again, people said before the fight that Wilder would be Usyk's easiest fight, but the Chaz Tablespoon fight wasn't even an easy fight. So how does that work? Wilder is an immense puncher. Guys like Gerald Washington, guys like Arthur Spilka have done good jobs, even Tyson Fury. Good jobs outboxing Wilder in spots. Luis Ortiz gave him a run, and he came back to hurt all of those guys and knock most of them out, including Tyson Fury, who was knocked out and somehow was able to get back up. You know, that was up to the judges, the referee's discretion if he wanted that to continue. Jack Reese wouldn't have, nobody would have thought anything of it if you've seen a man snoring and you waved it off right then and there. Don't even try to administer a count. In fact, more more often, the more that I think about it, when is the last time you've seen somebody who fell on the canvas and they were asleep for two seconds or longer and the ref didn't wave it off? Where the ref said, hey, you know what? Maybe this guy will wake back up. You don't really see that. So really, Wilder should have won by knockout. And I wasn't really of the notion of that before. I was like, okay, a draw is fair. But if you really think about it, and Lennox Lewis told me this when I interviewed him. He said when he fought Oliver McCall, they waved it off real quick. And he was like standing up. You know, so how is it that Tyson Fury, he really has his eyes closed. Most people would have waved that off. Like you look at Canelo versus um amir khan the way he fell and just how he's on the ground his eyes were his eyes were open too you know kenny bayless seen what he needed to see he's like nah hell nah so usually it just gets waved off just off principle of how they fail you know you've seen a big ass six foot nine guy a lot of people keep comparing Usyk to tyson fury don't know shit about boxing yes they both are skilled boxers they both can box difference is in my honest opinion tyson fury wouldn't be this phenom if he wasn't that big bro He's six foot nine, 260 plus, plus he moves pretty well for his, his size, good upper body movement, and he's fidgety, right? His frame is assisting with that. It's not that he has this sinister power. It's just, you know, you're still getting punched by a 260 pound man plus, right? But 
it, what makes him harder. He leans on you. He's he's you know educated. He's veteran. He has amateur pedigree and his frame. Usyk don't have a six foot nine frame. Usyk is six two and a half, six three, whatever he is, and he's just moving up from a previous division. He don't weigh two sixty. So they're off those two things. That's that. That's like comparing. Floyd Mayweather to Danny Garcia, like they don't fight alike. There's no real similarity. Floyd's fast and quick twitch, fast twitch muscles. Danny Garcia is kind of slower. You know, they don't really fight like so. You can't really assess Pacquiao versus Danny Garcia the same way you would Pacquiao versus Mayweather. They're totally different fights. So a lot of people don't know shit about boxing, but they just happen to be on old media. So, you know, they want to give uh, be impartial to whoever that old media wants um to win or or look good but Usyk he gotta he gotta earn his stripes and again if people like Lomachenko is saying that Usyk will beat Wilder and school him then let's see it people keep saying the same bullshit about Wilder and as time goes on you're understanding how foolish you are to this day Wilder has beaten everybody by knockout except for Tyson Fury and some of which were better boxers than him nobody said wilder was a better pure boxer boxing purist pernell whitaker than a lot of these dudes and he still has the equalizer so the more old media perpetuates that oh wilder just has power who gives a fuck whatever you talking about at the end of the day he's getting it done there's guys he's already beaten guys more technically sound than him Luis Ortiz and he about to fight him again so and a lot of people like Andy Ruiz and Tyson Fury they're all picking Wilder to win so if Wilder is so shit then why are people picking the more the the more reckless windmill Wilder person to win and not the tactical technician and pure boxer Southpaw in Luis Ortiz who we know is damn good bro old media is full of shit and they're fake there would be no reason to pick Wilder in the rematch if he can't get it done. But you believe he could get it done. So it's cap. It's cap. It's all cap, bro. If you don't think he could beat different styles because he has no talent or whatever, then say that and mean it. But there's no reason you would not go with the more skilled guy in Luis Ortiz getting a second chance. Why didn't you go with Bermain Stavern? Why are people p keep picking Wilder to, to win these rematches? Because they know Wilder is doing enough things right that he's getting the job done, end all, be all. So, yes, Usyk can box, gold medal, you know, Ali trophy, heavyweight. He hasn't done shit. And it's a, it's a big division, bigger guys. School him. Show me that make it the next fight i don't even care about the tyson fury fight because he got cuts over his eyebrow trying to wild out and shit let's see Usyk versus deontay wilder let's see if old media and eddie hearn and everybody decide to make that you know and let's see if lomachenko fights devin haney devin haney keeps saying he just did an interview he said i want to fight lomachenko now i don't want to wait till he gets quote unquote older i'm, I'm ready now you know He's picking Richard Comey to beat Teofimo. He doesn't seem, Lomachenko doesn't seem to rate Teofimo that highly. Cool. So if Teofimo beats Richard Comey, will you fight him or Devin Haney next? Right? And then we'll see how Tank looks. And if he's good, then that's three people. Listen, new media, the walls are closing in. Y'all know it. If Usyk is the man to school Wilder, then I would love to see the fight. You know? And you guys see the same thing. Andy Ruiz just did a media day in San Diego, and he said the same thing. He said Usyk didn't look too good in his heavyweight debut. I wasn't really impressed, especially given the consideration, considering who he was fighting. He's a good fighter, you know, but, you know, I wasn't really impressed. I don't think his power carried up. So it's funny that, you know, people say I'm biased, but a fellow Ukrainian, that's friends with him and he's standing right there he could say that Usyk schools wilder and they could say wilder loses easy but i'm the one that's biased meanwhile people like ruiz myself and various people are saying Usyk's um heavyweight debut wasn't you know phenomenal again we will we will be able to tell a whole bunch 
about how confident they are and how much of a splash Usyk made in his heavyweight debut by who they match him up with next. If they put him in there with Wilder next, okay, they really have faith that he can get some things done. But if Eddie Hearn puts him in there with anybody less than, than a Wilder, then that tells you what it is, you know? And then if the lower he goes down in terms of character, creed, and, you know, pedigree of the fighter, the more you know they want him to acclimate and they don't think he's ready. It's that simple. So if he fights Wilder, then you know they believe what they're saying. Whether it can happen or not, they believe it. But we know that's not going to happen. If he fights a Wilder or Tease or, you know, somebody like that, Tyson Fury, somebody who's who hasn't lost in a minute, then they'll show you. Then you, if he fights, um, you know, Luis Ortiz, a Pavekin, Dillian White, Joe Joyce, Daniel Dubois, you're like, okay, they really, they really like his chances here. But if he fights another Chaz Witherspoon, then that'll tell you what you need to know. New media, let me know what you guys think. I'm out. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button. And you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego the future of boxing.